So what I've done here is, uh, for setting up the Ford 8.8 inch uh, rear end pinion depth, I've made uh, some setup bearings. And, er, great. Anyways, usually they come right off, and this time it's not. There we go. And that one's, okay. So what I did is I bought Timken bearings, the M88048, the small bearing, and the M80248, uh, the large bearing. And I used my uh, $10, uh, no joke, it's $10, bucks, uh, die grinder from Harbor Freight, about 15 minutes worth of time to uh, open up these bearings just a little bit. Okay, and I'm not sure whether you can see that uh, or not, but um, it wasn't particularly hard to do. So I have about 25 bucks worth of bearings here that I've, uh, I'm going to use for, uh, setting, for uh, setting up the pinion depth. The uh, main problem, and the reason I'm doing this, is because I don't have the Ford uh, measurement tool. I don't have any good measurement tool. And uh, the motive gear instructions show you the uh, checking distance, which is written on the end of the gear, although this one is almost illegible. I'm not quite sure what it says. Um, but the problem is, is at least for the, uh, for the hobbyists like me, is you need to be able to uh, accurately measure the center line. This is the center line through the... Um, the, the uh, uh, carrier for the carrier bearings and uh, I don't have a tool to do that I've seen a $30 tool um, a simple tool that a person can use um, I was sort of iffy on that so and then of course the official tool was a multi hundred bucks so instead I decided to try setup bearings so it's a $25 experiment to see how well it'll do. It allows me to um, to assemble this with the spacers that go here between the bearing and the pinion head and uh, put it together and take it apart multiple times um, while I'm uh, trying to get the pinion depth set correctly. So uh, 25 bucks for the bearings, $10 air grinder and uh, then I'll I'll see how close I can come.